Thank you for tuning in to another one of our QuickBooks Tips series. My name is Teresa Todman of B&M Financial Management Services, where we specialize in assisting our clients with financial organization within their business. I've put together these video tips designed for small business owners and managers to learn a variety of ways to use QuickBooks to manage their business cash flow. In this short video, I will be introducing you to the main features you will be using to maintain your cash flow using QuickBooks. Let's begin with the company section. The company section is where you would create and edit your company's financial accounts. The chart of accounts is a list of accounts used to define your accounts, your, such as your income accounts, your expense accounts, your liability accounts, your bank accounts, your credit card accounts, any accounts associated with your business. Uh, any transactions that you put in, any information that you put into QuickBooks will reference, will need to have a chart of accounts referencing that transaction or the da that data. So all those accounts will be located in your chart of accounts where you can edit, delete, um, and create. The items and services is a list of accounts used to define your products and services. So any products and services that you sell to your clients or, or customers will be listed in this items and service. This is referencing all of your products and services that you offer to your clients or customers. Now let's move to the vendor section. In the vendor section is where you will be managing your payables. At times we forget about a bill until we receive a pass through notice in the mail or we lose a, lose a bill under a pile of uh, documents. Vendor bills are bills from companies that you've made a purchase from but have not paid for the merchandise yet. The entering bills feature allows you to record and keep track of those vendor bills. Once you've entered a bill, then Bills usually have a due date. Some bills are due upon receipt. Some bills are due within 30 days. Some bills are due within 15 days. Whatever the case may be, some, when you, after you've entered a bill, then you would move to paying bills. The pay bill feature allows you to keep track of open bills and to pay your bills on time. Sometimes we forget about a bill and companies often charge us late fees. This feature will be a helpful feature in keeping track of those bills and making sure that we pay those bills on time once they're entered. The Manage Sales Tax feature is a feature in QuickBooks that we will be discussing on a later date. So therefore we will be moving on to our customers. The customer section is where you would manage your receivables. Receivables are the receivables money that comes in from customers that have purchased your uh, products or services. Sometimes creating invoices manually or using a Microsoft Word or Excel document, you can easily forget to bill a client. Using the Create Invoice feature in QuickBooks allows you to create invoices to distribute to clients or customers for services or products sold in a timely manner. The Receive pay Payments. This feature takes the guessing work out of wondering if a client has made a payment. It allows you to keep track of your money you receive from customers or clients in forms of a check, cash, or credit. It lets you apply payments to the invoices that you created in the Create Invoice feature. Now let's move to the Refunds and Credits. When dealing with customers, there are times when they request a refund for a product they purchase. This feature allows you to create a refund of a product or a service that a customer has purchased or, credit, or apply a credit to the customer's invoice. It allows you to keep track of the invoices that you've created and the amount due to the customer. Now, statements. Creating customer statements are very helpful in the cycle of maintaining and managing cash flow. 
This feature allows you to send out reminders to customers for past due invoices. Now let's move over to the banking section. This is the section where you manage your banking. This section allows you to manage your banking process. The first item on, within this banking section is the record deposits. Record deposits is recording the deposits that you made from your from the re money that you received from the customer, which we will get into uh, more deeper on another video. So right now we're going to move on to reconcile. Reconciling is comparing the data that you've put, the financial data that you put within in your QuickBooks accounting software and comparing it to your bank statement to make sure that they coincide. You should use this feature to compare the information. At times you may put information into the system on a regular basis but then you may still have some missing um, transactions such as some fees that the bank may have charged you or debit charges that you swiped your card and didn't didn't enter them into the QuickBooks software. So reconciling is, is a very Im important feature when um, managing your cash flow because at the end of the month you want to make sure that your accounts your bank accounts are balanced with the bank with your bank institution account too. So um, reconciling allows you it allows you to compare information and make sure that the information that you have in your QuickBooks coincide with the information that the bank has also. Writing checks. Of course accounting in accounting you have to write checks and with the QuickBooks accounting system software it allows you to write checks manual checks but within the system so if once again while you're reconciling your account if you're missing any data any transactions you would write a check for whatever you paid for and you would use this feature to write checks for any missing information fees debit purchases or even if you want to you know just you don't want to enter the bill and use the, the vendor tra the, the vendor cycle you just want to pay someone a check um, you would use this feature here now the check register the check register is a view of all of your financial um, payments that you've made all of the checks that you've written and all of the debits that you have um, debit purchases that you've made and also all of the payments that you receive from customers the deposits that you've made from um, the customers that you receive money from for services or products all of this information is in your check register just as if just as it would be in your bank book now let's move down to the print checks once you've written a check or once you use the the right check feature then you would print checks or once you pay use the pay bill feature you will also have an option to not print the checks at that time but you can you can use this print check at, if you decide not to print the checks using pay bill feature you can print the checks um, by clicking this icon uh, you can look at checks that you need to print and select the checks that you select all the checks or select a few of the checks that you want to print now enter credit card charges icon this feature allows you to record and keep track of your credit card purchases and credits from merchants that you've used your credit card um, to make purchases this account this credit card account feature is separate from your bank account within the QuickBooks software program. So whenever you your credit card and your bank account are two separate financial statements, you two separate financial accounts. You have your bank account which you use when you are paying bills or receiving income. But when your credit card 
charges this icon here is where you're going to enter those credit card charges this is where you would enter credit card charges not anything that has to do with the bank account this is where you would enter credit card debits I mean credit card credits that you receive from merchants for returning merchandise or um, a credit that you receive for whatever other reason now we move over to the employee section. This is where you would manage your payroll. Normally operating a small business, your payroll expense is very minimum and I'm sure you want to keep it that way. QuickBooks allows you to manually keep track of your payroll and payroll tax liabilities or you have the option to purchase the low cost subscription from QuickBooks. It would be a better benefit to have QuickBooks process and pay your tax liabilities to avoid penalties for missed tax payments. But if you choose to do it yourself, this feature allows you to keep track of your employee payroll. Now that concludes this QuickBooks Tips series. I hope it was very helpful. Thank you for watching. Please rate our video and share your comments.